one thing we don't like. We don't like the rush that the T stand for. We're gonna get there on time, and we're gonna get there without any traffic violation. Got 1,022 miles to go to Portland. Gonna get started now. Starting off with 1917 miles so far. Got the eastern sun in Turn front of up. us here. Oh man, we never gonna get there. Pay attention, fool! <laughs> in 1.75 miles, make a U-turn! Mr. T, I don't know what you're talking about. There we go. Getting his bearing in straight here. Feet, turn left. Getting back on 80 West. Would you like to drive east coast to west coast and hear that all day long? Thank you, Mr. T. That's what you like to see. Speed limit 80. Creeping over it a little bit. Nine hundred and sixty-six miles to go to Portland. Doing great. A lot of wind turbines here. Lyman, Wyoming. Leaving Wyoming and now just going into Utah. Welcome to Utah. Eight on eight hundred and eight miles to go to Portland. And two hundred and fourteen miles today already. Exiting Highway 80 West and going on to 84 West to Ogden, Utah. Been on 80 West a long time. to go. It's a really pretty scenery here in, in Utah. And then we're on Highway 84 West. Ah, it's 
speed limit is slowed to 70. It's been 75 and 80. Continue on. straight, I'm gonna follow you. Or west 80. Extensive gas so far, 309 a gallon here south side of Ogden, Utah. Gorgeous scenery here. It's been 299 miles on this tank. Let's see what kind of mileage we get. Almost 300 miles on this tank, still getting a little over 22 miles to the gallon. Put in 13 and a half gallons. Time to get back on the road again in Ogden, Utah. That's 723 miles left. We set that back to zero, and we've been 2,217 miles so far. Idaho. Six hundred and fifty nine more miles to get to Portland, Oregon. Oh, good. Eighty miles an hour in Idaho. Still traveling in Idaho here, about 80 miles from Boise on Highway 84, slash US 30. Got 519 miles to get to Portland. Been 2,431 miles. Snake River here in Idaho. And Snake River was made famous by the Evil Knievel jump. Nice Pontiac here. Idaho. Don't be a fool, stay in school. I think we got less than 50 miles. We'll reach the Oregon state line. We have 428 more miles to go here. A lot of heavy equipment. And 2,000. 
523 miles here on day three of the East Coast, West Coast drive. state line. Three hundred and eighty three more miles to go. Travel two thousand five hundred and sixty seven miles. Still showing three forty nine PM. Should change to 2:49 once we get this Pacific Daylight Time. Oregon. It's a very pretty Oregon scenery. Portland, put in 10 gallons, and this is in LaGrange, Oregon. Four runners doing great. That looks like I got right at 21 miles to gallon in the mountains there. Had 209 miles, and we put in 10 gallons. Almost to Portland, got 271 more miles to go.
the fall is here. destination in 18 minutes. We'll see. Traffic's kind of started to slow down a bit here on West 84. Driven 2,935 miles. Here we go. i got to veer off to the right here. And there's Portland. south here. away from being at my daughter's house. Poor runner has done great. It's been three long days of travel, but we made it. 
2,952 miles. Probably got a half mile to go. 900 feet, turn left, then arrive at your destination. And this is going to be a video wrap up here of my East Coast to West Coast trip, bringing this forerunner to my daughter. 2,953 miles is what I traveled. Made two stops once in Columbia, Missouri for the first evening. That was 975 miles. Second evening was in Rawlings, Wyoming. That was 942 miles. And I hadn't even calculated how many miles yesterday was. But I did a total of 2,953 2 miles. Still got to get all this stuff out of the forerunner here. Got a bike, all this stuff for my daughter. Checked the oil in it this morning and it didn't use a bit of oil. 2,953 miles we traveled. That was the last gas stop, 971. And the Forerunner now has 133,600 miles. What a great vehicle. I'm going to get this all cleaned up this coming week. Didn't really get dirty, only ran into a little bit of rain. But arrived safely, had no issues whatsoever. They're going to really enjoy this forerunner. And most importantly, this plant arrived safe as well. It's a prize curcumba plant. This plant went into two hotels with me during the trip, and it's also started to sprout a second one. So these do multiply. And here's also a wrap up in the actual map and the towns that I stopped in. I put Nashville in here so I could get the correct highways here. But the first stop was in Columbia, Missouri versus Marion, Illinois. I actually went about 300 miles more because I've made such good time. And the second stop was in Rollins, Wyoming. That was 943 miles. And the third stop was into Portland, Oregon, day three, 1,035 miles. It was a great trip, only ran into a little bit of rain in St. Louis, Missouri. Highways were great and really nice people along the way. Thanks for watching.